Maja 1943. najdramatičnije godine drugog svjetskog rata na svim frontovima žestoke bitke stalno traju. Trupe crvene armije snažno nadiru na zapad. Na Afričkom frontu general Romel Užurbano se povlači ispred savjetničkih trupa. Široko se otvaraju vrata za invaziju u Hitlerovu evropsku tvrđavu. Na Balkanskom ratištu, posle neuspeha četvrte fašističke ofanzive, inicijativa prelazi u ruke Titovih partizana. Narodno oslobodilačka vojska Jugoslavije sa vrhovnim štabom i Titom na čelu stvara novu slobodnu teritoriju. Uveren da će savjeznici izvršiti iskrcavanje baš na Balkanu, na tom prostoru Hitler naređuje svojim generalima von Leru i Litersu novu ofanzivu protiv partizanskih snaga. Zbog kritične situacije na frontovima i da bismo oslobodili svoje trupe za predstojeće velike bitke na Balkanu i u Evropi, pod svaku cenu zadati smrtni udarac jugoslovenskim partizanima, jednom za svakda likvidirati opasno balkansko ratište. Zato odmah opkoliti, uništiti partizanske udarne jedinice i njihovu bođu Tita. Tako je počela po angažovanosti ljudi i ratnih sredstava operacija najvećih razmjera nazvana Švarc. O tome govori ovaj film. Druže Tito, pozadine javljaju da su pokreti njemačkih i italijanskih trupa sve veći. Nijemci ne prekidno navaljuju. Naše su izvidnice otkrile velike pokreti italijanskih i bugarskih trupa. Jasno je da su velike operacije u pripremi. Prema tome moramo napustiti naš plan za prodor u Srbiju i Makedoniju zbog ranjenika. Moramo se vratiti. Natrag u Bos. Moramo se vratiti sa svim svojim snagama i ranjenicima. Ja mislim da bi trebalo da krenemo odmah. Ne možemo krenuti. Očekujemo dolazak britanske vojne misije. Ali čekanje je samo pogoršava situaciju. Moramo sačekati. Jer su na putu. Njihov dolazak je politički veoma značajan. Ali Nemci nadiru velikim snagama. Dobro. Neka Britanci dođu ovde i vide. Neka vide istinu i stvarnu situaciju u Jugoslaviji. Nek svi vide da je krv ovdje prolivena za posljednje dvije godine. Prolivena krv za slobodu svih naših naroda. Ja? Ist die Umzingelung vollkommen geschlossen? Vollkommen geschlossen! Die Partisanen haben überhaupt keine Möglichkeiten mehr. Gut. Die 118. Jägerdivision. Die 369. Legionärdivision. Die italienische Alpendivision, Taurinese. Die Gruppe des Generals Ludwiger. Das da unten ist das bulgarische Regiment. Die italienische Division Venezia. Die erste Gebirgsdivision. Die italienische Division Ferrara. Diversantenregiment Brandenburg. Und da hinten die SS-Division Prinz Eugen. Die Soldaten haben der 120.000. Und die Partisanen? Ja, ich würde sagen, unserer Wertung nach 20.000 und davon einige Tausend Verbündete. Also, sechs gegen einen. Der 
Captain Stewart, do you think the partisans are waiting for us? We'll be lucky if the Germans aren't waiting. Mr. Churchill planned a wonderful trip for us, particularly for you, his personal friend. Yes. What do you think Tito looks like? I bet he hasn't moustache like Stalin. <laughs> We are British officers. You are welcome, gentlemen. Tito expects you. Druže Tito, tyhle britanská vojna mísí. Captain Stewart, head of the mission. You speak our language? Yes, sir, but I know very little. I see. May I present to you Captain Deakin? Sir. Sergeants Rotten sir. and Rotten. Come inside. Thank you. Sit down, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. We bring you greetings from our government and Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Thank you. You're the first military mission to land in our territory. We expect the Russians very soon, too. We have been waiting for you for a long time. Well, we have arrived. I hope you find it easier when we, we open the second front. We already opened our second front, Captain. We opened our second front in 1941. We have been informed about the great sacrifices of your people in this war. Yes. There have been many sacrifices. And there will be more. This war won't take a week or a month or a year, perhaps many years. We shall fight to the last drop of our blood, whether you open your second front or not. I hope you will see that for yourself. Where's the front? Wherever the Germans are. And where are the Germans? Everywhere. Gentlemen, I'm afraid we shall have to leave. The situation has become very dangerous. The Germans have completely encircled us. You'll manage to pull through? The Germans certainly hope we won't. However, we've been encircled before. In fact, all the Europe is encircled. We have broken out before we should break out again. Our arrival is an acknowledgement of your struggle. I hope you will be witnesses to the fact that among the nations, not only during the war, but after the war, when we have defeated Nazi Germany. Yes, sir. Druže, vrcholni komandanti, dalmatinci poručuju, Nemci natiru se veći snagama i sve upornije. Mi smo izgubili dvije trećine ljudstva, ali računajte na nas kao da smo u punom sastavu. What are these messages? Reports from different areas, all of them engaged in heavy fighting. Hmm. What are you writing, Professor? History? I hope we survive it. Only history survives, Stuart. Commander, you will be delighted to hear we've just heard from our General Alexander. Delighted, of course. He says, Greetings and good wishes at this critical moment in your struggle against the invaders of your country. The invasion of Europe is not a dream anymore. In the East, the Germans have been punished by our Russian friends. Therefore, your continuing struggle in the months ahead is more important than ever. Isn't that encouraging, sir? Most encouraging. Will you be good enough, Captain, to convey it to General Alexander? Our appreciation and add that at this moment we would prefer a little less encouragement and a few more planes instead. Oh, uh, yes, sir. 
I'm sure the General will do everything he can. The fact is, sir, we didn't think it possible that you could be holding up so many German divisions on your own. It's, uh, it's quite incredible. Most encouraged you are finally convinced. Good show, sir. <laughs>